more of a mundane status update, if that makes sense. Um, this year has personally been a little bit of a wash, but from August onwards, uh, we started coding again. Uh, I made some slides here very quickly in my lunch break today. So the macOS port of uh, Open ZFS of DFS is currently um, on par with uh, upstream 2.1.6 and we have a PR for it. We have been shipping uh, off smaller parts. Yeah, so we know. Yeah, I can start from the beginning. No. <laughs> Hope not. Um, anyway, so yes, we're uh, up to date with uh, Upstream's 2016, and we have a PR for it. We've been chipping off the smaller parts that can, uh, can be PDR separately, but we've now reached a point where we can't really give it any smaller parts. Um, we have been in working, it works quite well on Intel. Uh, it has been for a while, it's quite stable, it's a workhorse. Uh, most of the Nantes work. The ARM version, the M1 Apple's uh, new chip, has been has had some complications, especially with the authenticated pointers and stuff, and, but it, it's finally working. If you have more than uh, 16 gigs of RAM, like a 128 gig machine, then if you go with 16 gig allocations, uh, it will be unstable. We don't really know why yet. There's this uh, hard limit as in exactly 16 gigs, not just around it, but you go over it and it'll be unstable. We don't have any neo, neon or uh, the assembler versions for ARM yet. It doesn't like any of the source files that we've gotten from upstream. And of course, <clears throat> when it comes to the Mac OS, we're not entirely sure which way Apple is going. They certainly have indicated that they want to remove the kernel of extensions. So who knows what happens. If they provide a different interface, we'll, we'll give that a well, see if we can port it again. But at the moment, uh, it's actually looking rather good. We're hoping that we can get more people looking at the PR if we want to um, commit it. Uh, it is large, so, you know, that sucks, but what are you going to do, right? And then over at Windows, where we're actually also up to date with uh, Upstreams 216, we have a draft PR. That's mostly to, you know, save people having two massive PRs. Might make some people cry, otherwise. Uh, we only really work on the internet help. I know that there's Windows for R, but I haven't had time to look into it. It certainly runs on Windows 10 and 11. It probably works on older ones. I did try 8 and uh, Windows Server, but it's not something I run every day. And we still haven't decided on the build system. We use CMake mostly so that upstream uh, developers can add new files easily. Right? We don't want you guys to have to check out Visual Studios, uh, project files, anything like that. And over the weekend, I've uh, converted some of the assembly files over, uh, especially since the, the, it's a different calling convention, so there's a bit of a headache in that area. Um, so that's uh, summarize is what we've been working on, and uh, I'm hoping some of you people can look over the PRs and tell us how much they uh, suck, I guess. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. No worries. Have a good day.